And today, we just want to go to, we just want to uh, stay in the month of January. And so, uh, we are laying foundation of what and what the, some of the things that we, things that we, we, we are going to need even as we journey this year, 2023. And so, this morning, we want to remind ourselves of who we are in Christ. One of our slogans in this local assembly is that we are God ambassadors. And that we always say that I cannot fail. However, I want to also know this morning that as ambassador, just like in the world, as an ambassador, one thing that makes an ambassador to fail, or one of the reasons why they can recall an ambassador is that if that ambassador is not representing the country very well, if that ambassador is at loggerhead with the person, with the president of the country that's sending out, that ambassador will be called back home immediately. I remember when I was going, uh, I think it was around 1983, I was living with my uncle then, uh, who happened to be a diplomat. And he was posted to Iraq. He was serving in Iraq then. And the ambassador of Nigeria to Iraq then, out of favor with the government, did not even allow him to pack his luggage. He was put on the next flight. The telecommunication was sent in the, at 12 midnight. And by 4 a.m., he's, 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 he's already on the plane. That's how it, it is when an ambassador fails to represent his country. So this morning, I want, I want to talk on what I titled the walking billboard. The walking billboard. We all know what a billboard is. A billboard is a large, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a large advertisement tool. And Boria, uh, Hillary can t tell us more about that. Billboard. And one of the features of billboard is that billboards are not are not placed in a, in, a, in an obscure place. It's always whether uh, nowadays it's not electronic that you see billboards. They are not placed in a place that we can, where you cannot see it. Is that, is that, is that, is that a place in a in a in the junction of a highway that as you are coming, you cannot, even if you are blind, you will see it. Sometimes it is placed at the top of the building that even from afar, you can see it. I want to also remind, I want to remind us even this morning that we are working, we are the working be board of Christ. You are the we, you and I are the working we are the working billboard for Christ. First Peter two nine. First Peter two nine tells us that you and I are a church generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that we should show for the presence of Him who has called us out of darkness into His marvelous light. What is that telling us? In other words, that scripture is telling us that we are, we are God, we are God's be board. A large ad board, a out, out, outdoor board designed to, ad, to advertise Jesus Christ to the world. We are to ad advertise Jesus Christ even to the world. So as Christ be bought, we are, we are supposed to be God, the evidence of God's goodness and his mercy. My prayer is that in this assignment, we will not fail God in the name of Jesus. We will represent him very well, even as we join it this year, in the mighty name of Jesus. We will represent him very well in the name of Jesus. So, we should proclaim, we have to proclaim Jesus Christ to everybody around us, because we are his advertising tool to advertise him. Then the question that we can that we need to ask ourselves 
is that how can I be Christ be born? How can you, how can I be Christ be born? There are many ways, there are many ways uh, how our life can reflect, how our life can be God's be born. And the first one that I want to say to us even this day is that as we join this year, we should celebrate each day. We should celebrate each day. Every day that you wake up, let your declaration be that this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Regardless of what may be, regardless of the situation you may be facing, let that be your declaration that today is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Why do we need to celebrate each day? Number one, you need to celebrate every day because each day is a gift from God. It's a gift from God that is meant to be enjoyed. It is God's will for you to enjoy every day. It is just good. And therefore, as you join it this year, you should be determined that regardless the challenge that may come your way, you will celebrate life. That you will celebrate life and you will always celebrate people that people that God has placed on your path. You celebrate life. Solomon said in Exodus chapter 2, verse 24. Exodus chapter 2, verse 24. He said, He said, Nothing is better for a man than he should eat and drink, and that he is so to enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw was from the hand of God. So do as you got am I saying this morning that as you join it this year, don't allow anything to steal your joy. Make sure, make it a determination that you are going to enjoy life. Regardless of the situation. Because as long as you are living, there will be situation. There will be situation for each and every one of us. But we have to be determined within ourselves that my life will not be controlled by church thing. My life will not be so be determined to enjoy life. Because he said, this also I saw is from the end of it is God's will for you to enjoy life, your life. And more so, life, this life, you are going to live it only once. So make sure you make the best use, you enjoy it to the fullest. I'm not saying you should do sinful things, but you enjoy it to the fullest. Enjoy it to the fullest. You can this is God's will for you to enjoy your life. Also, why do you need to celebrate each day? Each day, as I said, is a gift from God. And not only that, Jesus Christ paid a very high price for it for you. Jesus paid a very high price for you. He said, he said in his word in John 10, 10, he said, I have come, he said, I came so that you, may, you and I may have life. And that we have, that we may what? We may have it in abundance. And he and he, he and he paid a, a, a huge price for that with his life. So don't allow anything to steal your joy. He added in John chapter 15, verse 11. In John chapter 15, verse 11, he said, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. I pray for someone this, this year. That may your joy be full this year. May your joy be full, even to overflow, even this year, in the name of Jesus. Don't allow anything to deprive you of your joy. Don't allow anything to deprive you of your joy. I want you to remember that just as your lungs need oxygen to, to thrive, and that, and that your body needs food to, to thrive, so your soul needs joy 
to strive. So make sure that nothing steal your joy. One woman said, he said that the highest call for any free child of God is to enjoy God. They are not only going to enjoy your life, they are going to enjoy your God. Enjoy God because it's your father. Your father is meant to be enjoyed. If you have a father, if you have a physical, a, 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 even earthly father that you are not that you are not enjoying, then something is wrong. So in the same way, you have to enjoy God. So make sure that you enjoy God even as even as you serve Him. Do not allow your happiness. As you join this year, do not allow your happiness to be controlled by anything outside, outside yourself. Situation we call, uh, they, are, uh, they are externalities. Do not allow your happiness to be controlled by something outside yourself. Also, because situation we call, and what we, with what we tend to do is that we, we, we tend to swim against the tide. We try to swim against the tide. When we are supposed to flow with the tide. The Bible tells uh, 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 we read, ego, 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 while other birds are trying to flow against the tide, ego flow with the tide. And with that, the tide takes it even to the eye, to the highest point. While other birds are being destroyed. So this year, flow with the tide. And God will see you through in the name of Jesus. So, I've said, make sure that you celebrate each day this year. The second thing that you need to do to be God on Christ working people is that you must look over your fear. Look over your fear. Look over your fear. David overcame his fear when we look when we read first Samuel chapter 18. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 15, verse 5 to 8. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 5 to 8. He said, So David went out whenever, whenever, wherever Saul sent him, and behaved wisely. And Saul said, him over the men of war, and he was accepted in the sight of all the people, and also in the sight of Saul's servant. He said, Now it had happened as they were coming from home. When David was returning from the slaughter of the Philistine, that the women had come out of all the city of Israel, singing and dancing to make him Saul, with tambourines, with joy. And with musical instrument. So the woman sang and they danced and said, Saul has slain his thousand, and David is ten thousand. Then, verse 8, then Saul was very angry, and the saying displeased him, and he said, They have ascribed to David ten thousand, and to me they have ascribed only thousands. Now, what more can he have? But the kingdom. And from that time, from that move forward, the trouble over David's life started. So, but regardless of that trouble, regardless of that world of trouble in his life, David overcame his fear. He did not allow that fear to, to tear him down. He, he, he looked over, he looked over and above his world of trouble. So, so this year, whatever the trouble, whatever the challenge that may come your way, look above it. Look beyond it. Know that you serve a God that is more than that trouble, that is more powerful, that is more potent than that problem. And, and spirit victory shall be yours in Jesus' name. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. The Bible tells us that perfect love casts out fear. So, whatever challenge may come your way this way, don't try looking through it. Look over it. Place your faith in God to bring you through. Look unto God, the author and finisher of your faith. 
Someone once said, he said, courage is the fear that has set its prayer. Courage is the, is the fear that has set its prayer. He has set his final prayer. So that means that you should not allow any, anything to, be, to hold you, any fear to hold you down. Instead of searching and dwelling on what was or, on what is strong or, of every or, of, uh, in every situation, look stand on the authority of the word of God. Don't try to don't don't don't, don't allow it. This morning we talk about Job. The first the the, the now there about twenty chapters in that book of Job. Job was complaining was was asking about why 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 all this one why all this thing befell me he was questioning god he spent nine months worrying and questioning god why has all this happened to me but after some time instead of reasoning he decided to stand on god's word and we see in, by the time we get to job chapter 23 verse 10 to 12 job was able to declare Job 23, verse 10 to 12. He said, but he, 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 was, he was talking about God. He said, but he knows the way that I take. When he has tested, when he has tested me, I shall come forth as God. Regardless of the test of, that will come your way this, this year, be sure, let's be assured that you are going to come, you come, going to come out as God. He said, I shall come forth as God. My foot has held fast to his steps. And as such, nothing can move me. My steps, uh, my foot has held fast to his steps. I have kept his way and not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have treasured the word of his mouth more than my necessary food. Let that be your, let that be your declaration this year. That you treasure on God's word more than what you can see. Treasure on what God has, the purpose of God in your life. You, you, although what you may be seeing may be, may be contrary, but treasure that word that you have received from God. Treasure it more than your necessary food. And by the time we get to the last chapter of his book, Job had said to trust God completely, and he declared in Job, in, in Job chapter 42. Job chapter 42, verse 2 and 5. Verse 2. He said, I know that I can do everything. Can that be your declaration? Can, can, that, can, can that be your, 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 your motto this year? Knowing that God, that you have a God who can do anything. Everything. Everything means anything. I, I know that you can do everything. And that no purpose of yours can be withheld from you. The purpose of God for your life, nobody can withstand it. Nobody can withstand it. What God has designed for you to achieve in life, nobody can. It's only you that can. It's only you, it's only you that can withhold yourself. He said, "No purpose of man that God has proposed that any man can withhold." And verse five, he said, "I have heard of you by the hearing of the year, but now my eyes assist you." I'm not only lying on what people say, but means which I cannot testify. Because I have seen, I've seen you in my life. I have seen. Can that be your testimony this year in the name of Jesus? And the third thing that I encourage you, all each and every one of us to do, even this year, is that challenge the status quo. Challenge whatever that thing may be in your life, challenge that status quo. Status quo, as we know, is, 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 is what is a existing condition of things. And one thing about status quo is that it ties destiny down. It ties destiny down and makes every effort to advance in life abort it. Oh, it cannot be done. Who said it cannot be done? Who said it cannot be done? One man said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said he said, one of the things that is, that is bad in life is that if you, to see, to watch somebody do something that you say you cannot be, cannot be done, and to your amazement, he said, the most embarrassing thing in life is to see 
other person do what you say cannot be done? Who told you that cannot be done? What well, well, I mean, God has been waiting for someone to do that thing. Before Peter walked on, with, on, on, on water, nobody has ever, no human being has ever walked on, on, on water before. So as you go this year, believe God that, you, that with him you can do. That's what the scripture says. That with God you can do what? You can do all things. 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 Jesus challenged nearly every no status, status quo in, in this time. He defied the law of gravity by, work, by walking on the water. He, he, so many diseases that people, that doctors that, that have failed in the hand of doctors, Jesus Christ is them. He met needs were met from unconventional sources when in his time. So this year, may God need meet your needs even from your unusual sources in the name of Jesus. You should not be confined to what what oh, this year. You should not you should not allow yourself to be confined by what was, but rather what can be, what can be, what can be. Do not be confined by what was, what was. Oh, that was easy. That how it has always been. But I will tell you that cannot be. Don't be confined by what, what, what was. And how do we challenge status? How, we, how do we challenge our the status quo in our life? First of all, we have to do a personality check. Each one of us, we have to sit down. What are those things that you consider as status quo in your life? Take a stock of, take stock of them. Take a stock of them and begin to challenge them. And it will, it will amaze you. One of the things that I've noticed is that we have so many excuses in the, in the body of Christ. We have so we have people that are not even believers. You see them do things in our in our faces, but we believers we continue, continue to give excuses where it cannot be done. Give excuses. May God help us in Jesus' name. You are in a, you are in a place of work. You know, okay, you know, you, you know what you need to move to the next level. You are not doing it. And you are complaining. You are complaining. What, what, if, we, if we pray to tomorrow morning, what's going to I, I don't I believe in miracles, but I don't know. But you you know what you need to do. You do your part and let God do his part. That's that's my that's me. You do your part, and then what I cannot do, then I leave it for God. But I, God will not come down to do what I can do. God will not come down and do it for me. So do personal check. Do your your own reality check. Do it. Do it, and God will help us in Jesus' name. Also, you need to ask God for direction. Ask God for direction. Define direction is the master and the soil of status quo. When God give, when God give you direction, God, uh, the Peter we just said, Jesus Christ told him, he said, Peter, um, Peter, come. And on that instruction, he, he started walking. But when he look, when he look his eye, when he took his eye. From that direction, we are told that is that is sinking. Ask God for direction this year. Ask God for direction. Don't allow a man. Don't allow man to be to to to, to be the stamp uh, uh, to stamp your own direction. Rather, let it be from God. Let God stamp your direction. God let give you. God give it direction to you, and let man stamp it. Get the get the get the direction from him. It was the it was the final direction that terminated the 38 years of circular movement for this life. The, the Bible tells us that there was a journey of a, a journey of, of, of of 11 days. They were stuck. They, they, they were they, they were ruminating, 
circulating over for 38 years. And the God told them in the, in the Torah, you have, you have circled this matter enough. Move forward. That was when, that was when. For 38 years, a journey of 11 days. They are just circling. Doing, just circling, circling, circling. And many of us were just circling in life. You, oh, you do this, you do that. Because we never receive attention. Oh, that's that's what is trading now. Oh, I will go and do that. That's what is trading now. I will go and do that. Without it, they would have they, they would not have accessed the promised land. It was Bible that was in that in, 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 in the book of Numbers that it was at the, it was at the direction that they move they move out in the, in the, in the morning. It is at that direction that they, they sleep at night. And lastly, even as I close this morning, is that you should have you should have a you should have a picture you should have a, a picture a picture evidence of a picture picture of where you are of, 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 of your picture. You should know where you where you are where what what you want yourself to be where you want yourself to be in the next five years. We you want to ask oh, what what do I, oh, in the next five years where did I where did I envisage myself to be? You should have that picture in your mind, and let it begin. Let it, let it, let it, let it propel you on a daily basis. A picture a, 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 of where you want to be in your work, in your work with God, in your career, in level. Where do you where do you see yourself to be? One of the questions that we love, I love most asking during interview is that oh. You, 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 uh, you are applying for this job, okay? Thank, um, I, I appreciate you. But in the next five years, where do you want to, where do you see, where do you yourself to be in this place? Where do, where do you have to yourself to be? And most often, that don't, people don't even, they, they, have, they don't have any plan for themselves. They don't even know where they want to be in the next five years. Where do you have to yourself to be in the next five years? In your career, in, in, in your finance, where do you want to where, where do you want to be? Where do you want to, to be in the next five years? Do you have anything in mind, or you just wake up every day and just sleep and just okay and you just that life you just uh, 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 everything will just come down. Don't even have plan. We don't have any. We don't have anything. Uh, we don't have any structure. I want us to rest this morning. Wants us to rest. One of the scripture that our sister read this morning, Sister Lizzie, I think it's Second Timothy chapter two. And in that in that thing, that what caught attention is that preparation. Second Timothy chapter two, verse twenty-one. Second Timothy verse two, verse twenty-one. He said, therefore. He said, if anyone cleanses himself from the letter, he will be a vessel for honor, satisfied, and useful for, for the master, for the master. Prepare for every good work. We want to ask God this morning that God will prepare you even for this journey, for this journey of 2022. That God will prepare you to be his, to be his, indeed, his, his, his be born. His, that God will prepare you, God will prepare you, God will prepare you, even, even for this journey of, even for this journey. For this year's journey, that will not just we not just walking like a blind man, we not just be walking like a like a blind woman. That God will prepare you even for this year's journey. Lord, prepare us, O Lord. Lord, prepare us, O God. Prepare us, O God, even for what's ahead of us, O Lord. Prepare, prepare us, O God, even as a living sanctuary, O Lord. Oh yes, Lord, Lord, prepare us, O Lord. Lord, prepare us to God, prepare us as a people in our career, prepare us to God, even for even, even for the next move. Prepare us to God, prepare us to God, even our relationship with you, Lord. Prepare us to God so we can be who we are supposed to be, O Lord. We are your working people. We are here to represent you, O Lord. Lord, help us, O Lord. Prepare us, O Lord. Prepare your people, O Lord. 
Et votre but, vous dites Amen, te prie au oh Lord. Prepare us, Lord, a living sacrifice. Sanctuary, even for, even for your use, oh Lord. Lord, prepare us, oh Lord. Lord, help us, oh Lord. Lord, prepare us, oh Lord, as we go into this new, as we join in this year, oh Lord. Prepare us, oh Lord. I'll be a living sanctuary for me. I want to know about three boys. And Brother Hilary can also prove me is that it's advertising too. But after it has been placed over that place for some time, the, own, the company look at what, what revenue has they realized even from that advertisement. If it, if it has not bring any money, if it has not bring any fruit, the company will say, why am I, why are we spending this money? This thing is supposed to produce, supposed to boost our sales. It's supposed to boost the image of the company, but it's not doing that. Can you just go and pull it down? Can you pull it down? You want to pray that as God be born, you 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 be profitable. That you will be profitable as God be born. As God as God be born, that you will be profitable even to your master. He said, prepare us to go for to, 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 uh, use reversal for master's use. A, a useful vessel, a use something that your master can be proud of. Something that your master can be proud of. Lord, Lord, we, are, we, we, don't, want to, we don't want to be an empty, 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 empty big bird for you, Lord. We want to be a big bird that is profitable unto you, Lord. Lord, help us, oh Lord. Help us, don't pull us down, Lord. Don't, don't recall us, oh, don't recall us, oh Lord. I want to pray. I want to pray that as, as God be proud, you will you, you, you not be a disappointment. You will not be a disappointment. You will not be a disappointment to, 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 to your president, to the, the Christ that, that sent you. You will not, you will not, you will not, you will not. You will not be a disappointment. I will not be a disappointment, Lord. Lord, help me, help my children, Lord, to be not to be, to not to be a disappointment, even to, even to, even to you, my maker. Because I know I am here to represent you. I am here to advertise you. I'm here. It's a privilege. It's an honor to be on your representative here, oh Lord. I will not disappoint you. 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 We will not disappoint you. You help us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. When we look at the story of Lazarus, we are told that Lazarus was dead. Before that time, we never, it was not ever recorded that a man had died for his days and was able to rise up. But after Jesus Christ raised Lazarus from dead, Lazarus became the walking billboard to testify that indeed Christ is, the, is, the, is, the, is, the, is life and restoration. Is the, the author of life and restoration. You want to pray that your life will be a testimony. That your life will be a testimony. Will, your, your, will be a testimony of, God, of God's faithfulness. Your life will be a testimony of God's goodness. He became, he became, he became, he became, he became the people of Christ, the creation, that he was the son and the life. His life, it does not need to tell anybody that Jesus Christ can raise the dead. His life became a testimony. You want to pray that your life will be a testimony? <laughs>